Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Really happy to have you join me for today's exciting course preview on how to build out an Android application that really resembles the YouTube UI on the Android platform. Now, we're not gonna be working on anything crazy like playing videos inside of this course, but instead, what I really wanna do is to show you how to build out the most common features that you need for a fully functional Android application. Now, I know a lot of you that watch this particular channel, you're probably only interested in Swift content, right? And you don't care too much about Android development. But one thing I do wanna to recommend to you if you're trying to get into mobile application development in general is to actually pick up a second set of technologies. And so learning how to build out an Android application using the Kotlin programming language is a very unique skill set that employers are actually looking for. Okay, so with that out of the way, let me first give you a very, very quick demo as to what we're gonna be working on in this entire series. And then I'll go over a very short list of the major topics that we're gonna be tackling. All right, so here we are inside of the Android emulator and take a look at what the application kind of does. And right off the bat, you can kind of see that it really resembles the UI of the YouTube application on the Android platform. And so basically, we're gonna be using something called a recycler view to build out a very efficient list of items that we can actually click into. So I'm gonna click on the top item, and this takes me into a second page for all the lessons available inside of the Instagram Firebase course. And clicking into the core data course, you can see we have a second set of items that are completely different. So again, for this series, we're not gonna be working on playing videos for our application, but more so on the common features that you'll find inside of an Android app. So let me click into the top course again and clicking into this item actually takes us to a web view that loads up the lesson inside of this component. So if you go back and click on the push notification episode, it actually loads that page right here. So you see the image looks differently and all the HTML elements are loading correctly. All right, so now that you understand exactly what we're trying to build out for this series, I'm going to now go over a list of the major topics we're going to be covering. So first off, we're going to start off with how to use a recycler view in order to build out a very efficient list that we can actually scroll through. Now, in order to properly use a recycler view, you have to learn about this thing called a view holder pattern to actually construct your individual items inside of your list. Now, everything inside of our UI is actually built out using this thing called a constraint layout, so I'll teach you how to use that as well. And then finally, we have to pull down all the data that you see inside of our application using a lot of URL requests. And the URL requests actually return JSON data. So I'll show you how to use third-party libraries so that we can parse JSON very easily and very quickly. And so once you're done building out all of your pages and all of your screens for your UI, you have to learn how to stitch them together with a navigational stack by starting activities with something called an intent object. So the navigational stack for an Android application is actually pretty tricky and it gets even more complicated when you have to construct something called a back stack. So I'll try to walk you through that as well. And then finally, if we have enough time inside of this series, I'm gonna show you how to load different web pages using something called a web view component. All right, so I'm actually really excited to start off this entire series and I hope you're excited too. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for the first video of the course, which should be released in just a couple of days. And that's gonna be it for me. Hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.